Hey guys, it's Anthony from Truck Tech Laser Canada. Welcome back to another edition of Paper Month. Today we're going to be showing you how we made these awesome paper lanterns. So first we're going to be showing you our colored laser paper lantern. So first we took our colored laser paper and we placed it into our Speedy 400. We then cut and engraved our design. Once our lantern was cut and engraved, we then folded it up using the score lines and with a little bit of adhesive, closed the lantern up. Once our lantern was folded, we stuck it together with a strip of adhesive and then placed it onto our base. Our colored laser paper comes in eight different colors. It's heavy duty, which means it's thick and durable. Next we'll show you our transparent synthetic paper lantern. First we put our transparent synthetic paper into our MUTO ValueJet 426 UF UV printer. We printed our design and registration marks. Then we put it into our Speedy 400. The vision camera system on the Speedy 400 then found our registration marks and cut out our design as necessary. For our base, we put our 3mm thick Tro Gloss Color Gloss Red with 3M adhesive on the bottom. We place it into the Speedy 400 and cut out our design. Next, using our score lines, we folded our lantern and adhered it to our base. For our next lantern, we used our synthetic white paper. We took our synthetic white paper and placed it into our Speedy 400. We then cut out our design with score lines.
Next, we cut out our base. For our base, we use our SmartX 5mm foam with adhesive on the back. Using our score lines, we folded our lantern together and with a strip of adhesive, glued it together. Laser Paper Synthetic is polyester based and combines a maximum strength and durability with excellent laser cutting properties. Next we put on our base. So next we'll show you how we made our lantern made of laser, paper, wood, veneer. We first took our cherry laser wood veneer and placed it into our Speedy 400. We cut and engraved our design along with score lines. For our base, we use our 3mm thick cherry wood veneer and cut it with our Speedy 400. Next, using our score lines, we folded our lantern and with a strip of adhesive, glued it together. We then stuck our lantern to the base and secured it with the bottom. The laser paper wood features a real wood surface with a white cardstock backing. This combination allows for applications where the look, feel, and processing characteristics of wood are combined with flexibility and printing characteristics of heavy paper. So that's how you can make laser paper lanterns. We have ours on a table, but you could always stick yours on the wall or hang them from the ceiling. These paper lanterns are a great application for promotional items, weddings, events, and interior designers. Thanks again for tuning in to Paper Month. Don't forget to tune in next week and like and subscribe below.